Today we're talking about the DCCS 670 chainsaw from DeWalt and this is a 16 inch electric chainsaw that I've owned for about a year now. This is actually a new one for this year. I did purchase another one last year and so I've added a second chainsaw. The thing I really like about it is the speed that it cuts trees down. It's not difficult to start like, it, like a gas chainsaw is and so this has just been uh, a pure pleasure or joy to operate. Um, it normally comes with one 60 volt battery and I did purchase a second 60 volt battery. The batteries themselves have a little indicator on them to show you what the charge is like. So you can always tell that you've got a fully charged battery ready to go. It's also a really good idea to have a spare chain or two uh, because as you're using this chainsaw, the uh, chains will go dull and so you can swap them out. Speaking of swapping them out, that is super easy with this unit. A lot of the newer chainsaws have these toolless features on them to be able to remove the access panel. And then you just loosen up the chain using this knob right here and you can pull the bar right off in the chain. You can also check the oil spout right behind the, the sprocket or the bar here to make sure that it's free and oil is able to move freely into the, uh, into the unit for lubrication. So I'm going to take down this tree right behind me because we do have a building site going on here and we do want to make sure that it's safe after we build it. And this tree is kind of questionable in terms of its strength and integrity. I'm not really sure if it would stay up so I thought we would just take it down preemptively before we get our building project started. Yeah, just using the 16 inch bar as a guide, I would estimate that the trunk is about 12 to 14 inches thick. Shouldn't be any issue for this chain because it is a nice narrow blade so you can see here the uh, chain itself uh, is pretty narrow on this one. The bar's nice and thin, so it tends to slice right through wood without any issues. And that's something that you pretty typically see with electric chainsaws. In terms of starting it, it's really just pushing down a safety button and then pulling the handle to get it to spin. So now that I've got all my safety gear on, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I pick a line that's going to assure that the tree falls in a path that I want it to. I actually want it to fall over into this clearing area uh, just here to be away from anything else. That'll make delimbing and cutting it up really easy. You're gonna see the chain go in here at an angle and here to take out a wedge. On the back side here, I'm gonna make a cut, plunge cut straight in to create a hinge point in the middle of the tree to create that pivot point for it to fall. an absolutely perfect fall. That's exactly where I wanted it to go. So really in terms of what we wanted to do today, we just want to get this tree out of the way. Thought it'd be a lot easier to take it down uh, now before we get the building up than afterwards. So in terms of the chainsaw performance, I thought it went pretty well. I did just sharpen the chain beforehand. So one of the drawbacks is because the chain is a little thinner and not as wide, it does get dull a little quicker than a traditional chainsaw. The 16 inch bar seems to be about the right length, although they do make this now in an 18 inch bar unit. I'm just gonna roll the cameras a little bit and show you some of the delimbing process. You see how the chain keeps up with that.
that's all I have for this video. I'm going to catch my breath, finish cutting this tree up, and uh, we'll get it we'll get it cleared out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.